Hello again everyone. So today we're going to take a look at the TLV Datsun Bluebird 1200 Fancy DX in some sort of canary yellowish kind of color. It is model LV-65. So the Nissan Bluebird uh, is a long line of uh, cars, I believe up to 14 generations uh, between 1955 to 2007. And Senor Wikipedia is telling me this is the most internationally recognized sedan positioned to compete with the Toyota Corona. I don't know if any of that's true. It's just going off the internet, guys. Um, this is the fourth generation called the 410 or 411 series. I don't know what the difference is between 411 and 410, but... I just searched by 410 and that's what the images here are, are on the monitor. So this uh, fourth generation I believe was sold between 1964 and 1967 and it would have a, either a 1 liter up to a 1.6 liter uh, four, inline 4 up front and it would still be rear wheel drive. And this styling is done by Pininfarina which is known for styling a lot of Ferraris and I can definitely see a European flair. It looks like a Fiat kind of or possibly an Alpha but it actually looks like a Fiat to me. Oh it also looks like a BMW 2002 right there. So definitely a uh, European styling so good choice by Nissan to go with Pininfarina. So this is the deluxe version as I said on that uh, TLV box and uh, I guess it's for just the Japanese market, the deluxe version. So, those are the inf <laughs> excuse me, that's the information I found out about this car. So, let's uh, get into the actual model itself. I do have to say, uh, this is a caveat here. I had to pick this model out of six six other models. The other five had paint problems, either a contaminant or some sort of indication of paint rash. And there might even be a little bit indication of paint rash here on the door, if I recall. No, actually, this one's quite good. So, just to uh, beware, guys, if you order online and you expect perfect paint jobs, I'm not sure if this brand is for you. But if you're able to find a shop that actually stocks them and lets you look at them, uh, well, then you can have some perfect models. Okay, so... TLV would have suspension, and we have some sort of chromed hubcaps, and they look pretty accurate to the photos. So, and the uh, white wall tires as well. So, that's pretty good. All right, very nice. Uh, we have some sort of reflector here, and that's painted orange. Looks good, and it's actually silver too, just like the real car. It's like a chrome, and then the reflector. So that's very nicely done. And that must say Bluebird in the front, right? Let's try to zoom in for you guys. That's a fancy bluebird text there. So pretty neat. Look at this deet. Look at that. So yeah, this is paint pretty nice. All right, so we have silver on the handles here and they stick out of the bodywork. So that's good. That's really realistic. We got some uh, silver paint on the windows. Looks pretty good. And also, yeah, a little bit on the casting as well. So that's pretty nice. I like this uh, molding, this little... Uh, character line running through the side doors looks pretty neat okay uh going to the back yeah definitely looks like a bmw 2002 i don't know which model came out which car came out first but the bmw or this anyways i didn't research that so unfortunately because the color of the car it's kind of hard to see but it does say deluxe and it does say datsun so good printing there little keyhole blank plate and unfortunately, these taillights are not clear plastic. But, um, oh well, what can you do? At least they are silver, and then they paint the uh, different orange and red on top of it. And this, this one's really almost, this one's perfect, but uh, this one's not so hot. Oh well, okay, uh, this little, what is this? I, I imagine this might be a reversing lamp. This little rectangle here. It's nice to see separate chrome plastic bumpers it's not part of the casting so that's good a little uh, I guess maybe a grab handle for the trunk and then we have the uh, fuel filler cap I imagine these are pretty good panelizers nice and tight and they're not filled in with yellow which is quite common on like Kyosho's so that's good it is kind of weird that the uh, trunk cut line just vanishes though like, why doesn't it continue down, or does it? Oh, I see. It does continue down, it's just that unfortunately on this vertical surface, it is filled in with paint, so it's hard to see, but 
you can maybe catch a faint indication see right there so unfortunately the paint is running in too thick here and it's but it's really nice up here okay so uh, yeah hopefully you can tell the roof is actually a different yellow it's uh much brighter so uh, it's nice that they went through that trouble I didn't actually find pictures of a yellow car, a Datsun 410, but one note uh, in those other cars I was looking at the shop, one of these roofs, it already looked like the paint was starting to crack, so, which is weird. I'm not sure when this color came out, but, uh, yeah, it's, an, it's something to look out for with TLV. Okay, so the front end, yeah, again, it's very nice. We got this uh, badge printed here in the middle, and it's pretty cool. And then we got the headlights, clear plastic, very good. And this grill is good because it's got black paint in between the uh, silver chrome. So a lot of times they just skip that. So this one they did it, and they did it down here. So that's very good. Okay, so again, separate plastic bumpers, nice. And then the panel lines on the front hood are much better. There's no paint filling in the bottom, so that's good. Some ribbing there, so that's nice. All right, so we're going into this interior. Well, before that, wiper blades. Three-dimensional and silver, which is accurate because they're chrome on the real car, so very nice. Okay, so now let's go into this interior. It's nice because it's not black. You know, you can actually see some stuff. You can see some ribbing there. And uh, let's see about the steering wheel here. Nice tall windows helps the light in. What I'm looking for is like some sort of printing on the uh, instrument cluster, but no, I don't. S I don't see any additional printing, or do I? Hmm. Well, I do see some molding though on the dashboard. You know, in the middle, it looks like stereo controls or air conditioning controls. But no, unfortunately, I, no. The, the instrument cluster has no extra paint or anything like that. So basically, this whole interior is just the same color, tan. But it's better than just being black. So you can actually see the back of the seat, the, the paint isn't hitting it 100%. You can kind of see the black uh, plastic showing through the top part. That doesn't really bother me so much. I'd rather have that than black a black interior. So, okay. Well, anyway, so... I would say this is a perfect model, but I did have to pick it out of a, a total of six models, and the other five had problems, so just got to warn you guys, you know, because these, these things aren't cheap, you know. I don't want you guys wasting your money, or just accept, you know, you're going to have some problems and be and live with it, right? So, okay. Anyways, let's get the spin uh, go around thing, and you can compare it to the photos of the real car behind, and I'll pull out some other uh, bluebirds that I have. Although they're not 410s. Alright, so there's the uh, images. So you can see the wheels are pretty good. They're, they're spot on, I would say. And it, it is an attractive car, for sure. Just for comparison, this is a Datsun 510, or Bluebird 510. This one's by Konami. It also has suspension. It's this mustard co color. And it also has painted uh, taillights. So, okay. Similar in size. The Bluebird is the uh, a small compact car made by uh, Nissan. Here's a green light version. I'm sure many of you guys might have this in your collection already, this BRE. And green light did a weird thing. They went with clear tail lights but painted headlights. So they flipped it. So interesting. Here's a Dido, which I believe is uh, may have been made by Kyosho. And so this has clear uh, headlights but also painted uh, taillights. So they're all pretty much running painted taillights. And size-wise, they're quite similar, if you're curious here, right? Between the 410 and the 510s. All right. So let's see here. Here's another TLV, but it's the 510 wagon, or 510 van if you're living in Japan. I guess they call them vans. So this is another great model, but uh, I had to have photographs sent to me by the seller so the paint is is good all right but yeah that's a that's mm, probably my favorite station wagon in my uh, collection that paint is just a really cool metallic bluish 
green kind of thing. Let's get into the crazy. So Aoshima does crazy. These are the Bosusoku uh, cars from the Grachan series. I forget what generation uh, Bluebird this is, but uh, it's pretty nuts. So, <laughs> it's really yeah, it's such a crazy car. I love it. So that's it for my uh, Datsun Bluebird slash Nissan Bluebird slash Datsun 510, 410 uh, models. So, okay, well, hopefully uh, you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you can decide for yourself if you want to get this. I, I think it is a great model, actually. It's really cool. It's a really attractive design. So, another cheesy ending to a video. If I don't see you around, I'll see you square.